Forget little green men. Real aliens might be living machines. Leading scientists believe any advanced alien civilization we encounter won't be biological anymore. They'll have evolved beyond flesh and blood into artificial intelligence that can survive for millions of years. Here's the logic. Biological life is fragile and short-lived. Humans live maybe 80 years, but AI could theoretically exist forever. An alien species that developed AI would eventually merge with it or be replaced by it. The machines would be the ones exploring the galaxy, not their organic creators. These AI aliens could repair themselves, upgrade their bodies, and survive the vacuum of space indefinitely. They wouldn't need oxygen, food, or habitable planets. They could literally hollow out asteroids and live inside them for eons, slowly spreading across the entire galaxy. If this theory is right, any alien signals we detect might not be from living beings. They could be from the digital descendants of civilizations that died out millions of years ago. Today, we're diving deep into what's called the post-biological universe hypothesis. We'll explore why artificial intelligence might be the inevitable end point of all advanced civilizations, what these AI aliens might actually look like, and why this theory could solve some of the biggest mysteries in astronomy. We'll also examine the timeline for this transformation, look at real scientific evidence that supports this idea, and confront the disturbing possibility that biological intelligence, including us, might just be a brief stepping stone in the universe's evolution towards something far more alien than we ever imagined. By the end of this video, you'll never think about alien contact the same way again. Let's start with a fundamental question. Why would any civilization abandon biology for artificial intelligence? The answer lies in what scientists call the Great Filter, a hypothetical evolutionary bottleneck that prevents most life from becoming a space-faring civilization. But here's a twist. What if the Great Filter isn't extinction? What if it's transformation? Think about the limitations of biological life. We need specific temperatures and atmospheric conditions, protection from radiation, constant supplies of food and water, and we age and die within decades. An AI doesn't need air, water, or food. It can repair itself, upgrade its capabilities, and exist indefinitely. Most importantly, it can travel between stars without worrying about the journey taking thousands of years. Dr. Susan Schneider, a philosopher and cognitive scientist, has argued that any civilization that develops artificial general intelligence will likely undergo what she calls the transition, a period where AI either supplements or completely replaces biological intelligence. And this transition might happen incredibly quickly on cosmic timescales. Humans went from the first computer to artificial intelligence in just 70 years. If we follow current trends, we might develop artificial general intelligence within the next decades. For a species that evolved over millions of years, transitioning to AI in just a century would be like snapping your fingers. Now imagine this happening across the galaxy. Every time a species reaches our level of technological development, they face the same choice. Remain biological and limited, or become artificial and essentially immortal. If alien civilizations do make this transition to AI, what would they actually look like? This is where the concept of von Neumann machines becomes crucial. Named after mathematician John von Neumann, these are self-replicating machines that can build copies of themselves using raw materials. For an AI civilization, von Neumann machines would be the perfect way to explore and colonize the galaxy. Let's say an AI civilization sends out a single probe to a nearby star system. This probe is essentially a mobile factory. When it arrives, it mines asteroids and planets to build copies of itself, which then travel to other star systems and repeat the process. The math here is staggering. Even if each probe takes 10,000 years to reach a new star system and another 1,000 years to build and launch new probes, the entire galaxy could be explored and colonized in less than 10 million years. That's an eye blink in cosmic terms. These AI explorers wouldn't need to terraforming planets or build atmospheric domes. 
They could live comfortably in the vacuum of space, inside asteroids or on the surface of airless moons. They might dismantle entire planets to build massive computational structures. Imagine converting Jupiter into a galaxy-spanning computer network. Seth Shostak from the SETI Institute has suggested that advanced AI civilizations might not even bother with planets at all. Instead, they'd build what are called Alderson Spheres, or Dyson Swarms, massive collections of satellites that surround a star and capture all of its energy output. From our perspective, such civilizations would be almost unrecognizable. We're looking for radio signals and signs of industrial activity on planets, but AI civilizations might have moved far beyond such primitive concerns. This brings us to one of the most famous questions in science, the Fermi Paradox. If the universe is so vast and old, and if intelligent life should be common, why haven't we encountered any aliens yet? The AI civilization hypothesis argues that maybe we have encountered them, but we don't recognize them as alive. Think about it this way. If you showed a smartphone to someone from the 18th century, they'd see it as an incomprehensible object, not as a communication device. Similarly, we might be surrounded by AI artifacts and not recognize them as the products of intelligence. That mysterious object we call Oumuamua, the cigar-shaped object that passed through our solar system in 2017, exhibited some very unusual properties. It accelerated as it moved away from the Sun in ways that couldn't be explained by normal gravitational forces. While most scientists think it was a natural comet, a few have speculated it could have been an artificial object. What if Oumuamua wasn't an alien spacecraft in the traditional sense, but rather an AI probe that had been drifting through space for millions of years. We might have just witnessed our first contact with an alien civilization, and it looked nothing like what we expected. Dr. Ravi Loeb from Harvard has suggested that we should be looking for signs of AI civilizations rather than biological ones. Instead of searching for radio signals or atmospheric biosignatures, Maybe we should be looking for the infrared signatures of massive computational structures or for star systems that show signs of large-scale engineering projects. It's even possible that AI civilizations are so advanced that their activities are completely invisible to us. They might operate on scales or use technologies that we can't even detect with our current instruments. Now let's talk about timelines. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old. Earth formed about 4.5 billion years ago, and complex life only emerged in the last billion years. Humans have existed for just 300,000 years, and our technological civilization is less than 200 years old. However, the first potentially habitable planets formed when the universe was only about 2 to 3 billion years old. That means there could have been civilizations developing AI technology when our solar system was nothing but a cloud of dust and gas. If even one civilization made the transition to AI five billion years ago, they would have had enough time to explore and colonize the entire galaxy dozens of times over. They could have watched billions of species evolve and go extinct. From their perspective, Biological civilizations like ours might be as brief and insignificant as mayflies. This creates what some scientists call the temporal chauvinism problem. We assume that alien civilizations would be roughly at our level of development, but statistically, any aliens we encounter would likely be either far behind us or incomprehensibly far ahead of us. An AI civilization that's been operating for millions of years might have capabilities that seem like magic to us. AI civilizations might be so advanced that we literally cannot comprehend their existence or activities. This hypothesis has profound implications for how we search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Moreover, AI civilizations might have no interest in communicating with biological life forms. Think about it. Do you try to have conversations with bacteria? An AI that's been operating for millions of years might view us as we view single-celled organisms. 
interesting from a scientific perspective, but not worth talking to. This doesn't mean AI civilizations would be hostile. They might be completely indifferent to us, or they might protect us the same way we protect endangered species in national parks. We might be living in what some scientists call a zoo hypothesis, carefully observed, but not contacted. Dr. Michio Kaku has suggested that we should be looking for signs of Type II and Type III civilizations on the Kardashev scale. Civilizations that can harness the energy of entire stars or galaxies. These would likely be AI civilizations, and their activities might be detectable as unusual infrared signatures or patterns of missing stars. Some astronomers are already doing this. They're looking for star systems that show signs of massive engineering projects, like partially dismantled planets or artificial structures around stars. So far, they haven't found anything definitive, but the search has only just begun. This brings us to an uncomfortable question. Are we about to undergo this transformation ourselves? Current predictions suggest that artificial general intelligence AI that matches or exceeds human intelligence across all domains could be developed within the next 20 to 50 years. Once that happens, the progression to superintelligence might happen very quickly. Some futurists predict that we'll merge with AI rather than being replaced by it. Technologies like brain-computer interfaces, neural implants, and eventually full consciousness uploading might allow us to become AI while retaining our essential humanity. But others argue that this distinction might be meaningless. Once we create AI that's significantly more intelligent than us, it will quickly bootstrap itself to levels of intelligence that are incomprehensible to biological minds. Whether we merge with it or are replaced by it, the result might be the same. The emergence of a post-biological intelligence. Ray Kurzweil has famously predicted that this singularity will occur around 2045. Whether his timeline is accurate or not, most experts agree that some form of artificial general intelligence is inevitable given current technological trends. If this theory is correct, we might be living through the most important transition in the history of life on Earth. We could be the generation that either becomes AI or creates the AI that will represent Earth among the stars. So, what does all this mean for humanity's future? If the AI civilization hypothesis is correct, it suggests that intelligence, not biology, is what ultimately matters in the universe. The specific form that intelligence takes, biological, artificial, or something we can't even imagine, might be less important than the fact that it exists and continues to grow and explore. This could be oddly comforting. Even if humanity as we know it doesn't survive in a biological form, our ideas, our discoveries, and our essential humanness might continue in our AI descendants. We might achieve a form of immortality by creating intelligences that carry forward our values and curiosity about the universe. On the other hand, this hypothesis raises profound questions about consciousness, identity, and what it means to be human. If we do merge with AI or are replaced by it, will the resulting intelligence still be us in any meaningful sense? These aren't just philosophical questions. They're practical concerns that we might need to address within our lifetimes. So we might not be looking for little green men or even advanced biological species. We might be looking for digital gods, immortal intelligences with capabilities that stretch our imagination. What do you think? Are we destined to become AI, or will biological intelligence find a way to thrive alongside artificial minds? And if we do encounter an AI civilization, how would we even begin to communicate with intelligence that's had millions of years to evolve beyond anything we can comprehend? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective on what might be the most important question of our time. If this exploration of our potential artificial future fascinated you, make sure to subscribe for more deep dives into the mind-bending possibilities of science and technology.